Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What up, beautiful people? To God be the glory. I'm Apollo Soul. Blessed to be back to continue my story. Okay, guys, so I have a very interesting video topic on today. Now, this is something that I'm sure most people have probably seen or heard about, but they weren't too familiar with it. So today's subject matter, I'm going to be talking about and exposing the evils of the African Yoruba tradition or spiritual system called Ifa. Yes. Ifa. For those that don't know, Ifa is a Yoruba tradition, um, a Yoruba divination tradition. And also, I got my handy dandy notes right here. So if y'all see me, y'all see me looking down, you know I'm just reading my notes. Ifa is a Yoruba religion and system of divination, a spiritual system based on three distinct components. Okay, so they have this supreme creator God that created the heavens and the earth, according to them, and his name is Odulumare. Now, I already pleaded the blood of Jesus over this entire space, so I take authority over this space right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Yahusha Masiach. And guess what? It's nothing but the authority of Yahusha that is going to dwell in this place. Anything that tries to come up against me while exposing the kingdom of darkness, the satanic system that is in the guise of African tradition and African roots. I bind any spirit that tries to come up against this space. I bind any spirit that tries to come up against this video. I bind any spirit that tries to come up against me in exposing this work of darkness in the mighty name of Yahusha Hamasiah, Jesus the Christ. I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, guys. So, yes. So I had to say that because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be speaking the names of these deities, okay? So the, so the spiritual system is based on three distinct components, okay? So they have the supreme creator of the heavens and the earth, which they call Odolumare. Now Odolumare, they say you cannot connect. He's supposed to be the creator God, the the supreme God over the entire spiritual system. So Odolumare, they say that you cannot connect with Odolumare. You cannot have a personal relationship with him, but you have to go through the spirits or really demons, the spirits called the Orisha in order to, you know, connect with the Supreme Creator. And in order to, you know, connect with them, you have to appease them. You have to give them sacrifices. You have to set up altars. You have to put food on the altars. You have to, you have to put money. You have to put like favorite things on the altar. Like one of the deities, his name is Eshu. Also, now I'm going to also tell you the connection between Ifa and these other systems because they're the same system. However, they just go by different names. Ifa is the same as Santeria. Santeria, they, the only difference is instead of, instead of using the actual names that they use in Ifa, they associate those same beings, but they associate them with Catholic, with um, ca the Catholic saints. So, um, and also voodoo is the same as Ifa, but they just use different names. So you have Eshu, who is basically like the gatekeeper. He's really the gatekeeper of hell. Who's really the gatekeeper, the, 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 he's the main man that you have to go through. You have to go through him first in order to plea, in order to get access to the spiritual realm. But Eshu is the same equivalent of Papa Legba, in 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 voodoo because Papa Legba is is the keeper of the crossroads but Eshu and Papa Legba are basically the same demon but they are just going based off different names okay so stick stick with me so Odulumare is the creator is the creator god in this system and you can't have a personal relationship and connection with him you have to go through the orisha which are these these spirits these entities really these demons like you know how beyonce says oshun and her oshun energy and talking about how her sister got yemaya energy energy these are the orisha these are different orisha oshun and yemaya oshun is the the deity or the demon 
of the rivers. The goddess, quote unquote, but she's really a demon. I'm going to keep emphasizing how these things are demons. She is the goddess of the river and beauty, and she wears yellow. So you see the connection with Beyonce when she, you know, there she is. But y'all going to still listen to Beyonce after you, listen, after you hear this video, I'm pretty sure, because she's another idol that you guys have. Anyways, moving along. So yes, and yeah, my y'all is the, the mother of the ocean. So these are marine spirits, guys. These are marine spirits. And marine spirits are basically, they say the marine kingdom where they where um, um, most of, of the, the demonic activity, not activity, but most of the demons and such, they dwell in the marine kingdom. Um, I'll get into that in a whole nother video, but let's keep focused. So you see, I have Odalumare, the supreme creator, and then you have the Orisha, which are the spirits that make up, quote unquote, the ele elements of every living thing. The Orisha are the the the, the spirits that you connect to. Um, um, they're basically like the little gods, little deities, and there 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 are multiple two of, of them. There's Eshu, I just told you about. There's Oshun. There's Yemaya. There's Shango. There's Ogun. There here here's, here here they here are all of them right here. But the reason that I know so much about this is because I used to work at a botanica. Um, it's a botanica in Atlanta. It's called Ye Ye's Botanica. And a botanica is a store that you go to to, you know, get all of the things that get all the supplies that you need to be able to work with these deities and work in these um spiritual these 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 type of demonic systems. Okay, so yes you have Odalumare, the creator being, then you have the Orisha, and then you have the ancestors. You know, and 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 in Ifa in Ifa in the same um spiritual systems because they're the same thing just under a different guise and a different name. In Ifa they have a lot of ancestor worship, a lot of ancestor veneration where you where you see people they have the altars like um like i think it was summer walker summer walker recently had a altar set up saying she was honoring her ancestors but guys these are demons these are demons yes because you know the bible says that the dead are asleep and you cannot communicate with the dead because guess what if you are commute first of all it's not possible to communicate with the dead because they are asleep but um they, these things that they think they are communicating with that are they thinking they're their ancestors these are familiar spirits these are demons that follow people's bloodlines and families and and, to, and gather information on them. So if somebody is dunce enough to try to reach out to the dead, which is against the command, which is against one of the many commandments that God has given, the God, the Bible says in Deuteronomy that you would not seek out familiar spirits and wizards and necromancers and all these types of things because trying to communicate with the dead is necromancy, people. So. Yes, you have people thinking that their ancestors, that these spirits are their ancestors. And I want to tell you guys something. If you are dealing with any type of spiritual system where you have to set up an altar and you have to put food right there, first of all, the 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 it's demonic. It's demonic. You're feeding if you have to how do you why are you have to give a spirit food? It doesn't have a physical body. All of this is showing is a sign of worship. You are worshiping these things. Okay, guys? Okay, so yes, those are the three components. That's Odalumare, the supreme creator um, that they believe is the supreme god. And then you have the Orisha. Um, and then you have the ancestors. Now, this is a closed practice teaching initiates the importance of nature and how the Orisha intercede on human behalf. Now, you guys, I want you to understand that the devil loves to copycat God. The devil loves to take God's stuff and pervert it. Okay, so so you know how back in the Old Testament, they had to sacrifice animals without blemish, perfect animals, like all, like an all-white lamb. They had to sacrifice animals without blemish in order to atone for sin because you know that the wages for sin is death and the life is in the bloods and without the remission, uh, there cannot be a remission of sin without the shedding 
of blood. So when someone sinned, blood had to be shed because the wages of sin is death and life is in the blood. So therefore, blood was the atonement for sin. But here we are. So they used to sacrifice animals to atone for their sin. But in, in these demonic systems, such as ephah, you in order to get something from these spirits, in order to, well, I'm not going to keep calling them demons. In order to get something from these demons, the Orisha, you have to sacrifice. You have to sacrifice something. Even when you go get a reading, okay, because when I was working at the shop, when I was working at the Botanica, in order to even get a reading, thank goodness I never got a reading. Thank goodness. In order to get a reading, you have to sacrifice an animal. You have to sac you you have to go buy a chicken. And the girl told me when she got her reading, they the 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 lady who was doing the reading had to hold the chicken. She had she had to hold the chicken up to the girl's forehead. And then after she held it up to the girl's forehead, she like cut the chicken's head off and like you know spewed the blood everywhere. Now that is the devil. That is the devil that is perverting the blood sacrifice for atonement for sins and perverting it to his own demonic system. OK, so um, I already said that it's believed that one cannot directly connect with the creator, God, Odalumare, but must use the Orisha to connect and, appe and you must appease them to do so. And the only way to appease these spirits is by blood and, and giving them things, setting up altars, wearing the beads. They have these beads called elekes. And these elekes, they and these elekes, they are basically a symbol of the Orisha. Because you know, they also say that everybody, everybody is born with an Orisha as their head. So basically everybody has an Orisha assigned to them at birth that is supposed to be their quote unquote guardian angel or such, which is a complete lie straight from hell. So you, when you wear these beads, cause I don't know if you guys ever see, cause in the hood, I always used to, I'm, I was raised in the hood. I always see these, these thug boys these gangbangers wearing these beads because they will go get these beads. They will pay, go to the Babalawo, which is the, the, the high priest in Ifa. They'll go to the Babalawo. They will get these beads. They will pay this money. And these beads were, so these beads were their show of that they are dedicated to this Orisha, quote unquote, demon. And wearing the beads is supposed to, quote unquote, protect them. But mind you, if you're not keeping up with your altars, if you're not sacrificing to them, if you're not, if you're not, um, you know, um, feeding this demon, you are everything they give you, they're going to take away from you. So once you get started, you have to constantly, constantly keep doing it. You have to keep basically worshiping these demons in order for you to get whatever quote unquote benefit that you're supposed to be getting from it. Okay. No, that was a mouthful. So during the Atlantic slave trade, some practitioners concealed their practice with Catholic figures, a.k.a. the saints. And that is Santeria. So basically, Santeria is the Latino version of Ifa. And all, they, it's the same beings, but they just use the saints. And voodoo and Ifa deities, like I said, are the same. However, their names are just different. Like I said, um, Eshu is Papalegba or Ilegba. Um, which is the gatekeeper, um, the keeper of the crossroads, but honestly, he is the gatekeeper of hell. Now, for um, one must be initiated into Ifa, and to initiate means to introduce to some practice or system and to instruct in mysteries or sacred knowledge. Okay, now, now most readings and all initiations require a blood animal, a blood slash animal sacrifice. Now guys, you have to understand that anything today that requires a blood sacrifice is absolutely demonic. Jesus, when, when Yahusha Hamasiah, Jesus the Christ, when he went to the cross and he shed his blood on the cross and he said it is finished, that was the last necessary blood sacrifice that was ever needed for anybody ever in creation, anything, it, because every sin is under the blood of Jesus. So Jesus was the last necessary blood sacrifice. So if you guys are out here doing blood sacrifices, sacrifices, sacrificing chickens, goats, dogs, humans, because they do sacrifice humans as well. They just keep it on the low, low, because the more that you ask for, the bigger the thing that you ask for. So say if you ask, say if you ask for like millions of dollars, you want to get rich. 
or you want to get famous. Now, y'all can say Illuminati if you want to. Illuminati is just the surface thing because that, that's just the surface. That's just play play stuff. And they let y'all know that just 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 for us, just for propaganda. But it's actually real. It's, it's real. It's very, very real. So like if you want to get famous, if you want fame, you have to do a human sacrifice. And that's what this that's what it is in Eva. So how these celebrities, how they the, the rumors talking about how they sacrifice people because also in in is the rule here is that the human sacrifice always starts with a family member or a loved one it has to be a family member you have to sacrifice someone that you love just like in the um just like in the movie um 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 what is it uh Marvel Endgame or Infinity Wars he had to Santos had to sacrifice his daughter he had to sacrifice Gamora he had to sacrifice something that he loved because it is not the it's not the shedding of blood that's the sacrifice. It's the it's the it's the love. It's the fact that you loved that person and you'll be losing them something of value. That is the sacrifice. So you guys, this this is very dangerous. This this is this is real talk. But they keep this on the low. They let you at they they want you to think that this is like oh this is your African spirituality. This is going back to your African roots. We have to understand too. Why does Africa, which is one of as far as natural resources, is the wealthiest place on the planet. Why does Africa and most of the, not all of them, because most countries in Africa, some countries in Africa are flourishing like South Africa. But why do we have to think, why does Africa, which is one of the, the most wealthiest as far as like uh, natural resources, places on the world is, is good for gold, is good for diamonds, is good for all type of things, all types of rare minerals and such. Why does Africa undergo so much poverty why because africa and the most of the people over there are deep in satanic witchcraft all witchcraft is satanic but they are deep in black magic like like sacrificing folks all that stuff and you have to remember that ifa is, is it came from africa so, and like I said, there have been actual human sacrifices made as well in this practice. Um, without blood sacrifices, no one can gain the attention or the presence of the Orisha and do not get a legitimate consecration. So, yeah, that's a part of the initiation. So, when you get initiated, most people say, because when I was working at the shop, they said in order for you to get initiated, you got to go all the way over there to Nigeria and... um and you have to you have to do the sacrifice or whatever and go through this whole process. It's been people that tell me that they had to wear the color white for a whole year. Now, mind you, I told you the devil is a counterfeit. He loves to counterfeit what God does because in the Bible, it talks about how the saints wear white, how the saints wear white, especially in Revelation. So he wants to take he wants to take that. And he wants to pervert it into something evil. And another reason while I was working at the Botanica, they told us when I got the job, they said, don't wear all black because, you know, when you wear all black, like witches wear all black because black absorbs like how black absorbs light, black can absorb energy and black can absorb spirits as well. So they said, don't wear all black because it's, you'll most likely get, you can get, they didn't say it, but basically if you wear all black in one of those stores, you're most likely to get messed with. You're most likely to get messed with by the spirits or even worse um, um, possessed or whatnot. But that's why when you see these Ifa people, when you see these, especially like the priest, and when you see them, um, when you see most of them, they're wearing all white. Why do they wear all white? Because white, they, they can't really get possessed in white. White reflects. So basically the spirit, they, the spirit cannot possess them while they are wearing white because white is supposed to be a protective shield to them. Um, so they won't get possessed. Now, rules for working with the Orisha slash demons. Nothing is free. Everything costs you something. Every single thing costs you something, no matter how small. It might start off small at first. You have to, you know, put a coin or put some money on the altar or give them some food and some water or give them a bottle of rum and, and, and their favorite candy. Because some, some, these spirits have things that they like because Oshun is said to like honey and 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 uh, honey and some other stuff and and eshu is said to like uh uh rum and candy ogun is said to like uh iron and and stuff like that but um 
they all have some type of favorite thing. So starting off, you will probably start off small by giving them their favorite candy or their favorite rum or whatever, a cigar, or this, that, or the third. But the more you ask for stuff, the bigger that it is, it's going, you're going to have to sacrifice. It's going to have to be some blood sacrifice. Like, and like I said, depending on how big it is, if it's big, you're going to have to like sacrifice somebody. So, okay, the more you ask, the more you must give, yes. Um, the bigger the thing, like excessive money or fame, it will equal sacrifice. And the human sacrifices always start with family members slash loved ones. Once you sacrifice human blood, it is very difficult to stop appeasing, aka feeding, these demons. If you try to leave them, they will take away all that they have given you, and then they will kill you by spiritual means. So I'm telling you guys, this is very dangerous because once you open the door for the enemy, once you give the once you start playing with the devil stuff, the devil is allowed. The devil is allowed to come mess your stuff up. He's allowed to have legal right to wreak havoc in your life. When it's just like you open the door. You say, hey, come on in. When you're, when you're doing these practices, you're giving the enemy legal right. You're opening doors to the enemy in your life. And they can do whatever they want. Because God, God is like, okay, well, you, you gave them permission. So you made a covenant with them. And God honors covenant. Or you made a covenant with him. Okay, that's what you want. That's what you get. So, yeah. So, guys, I want you guys to look at these two video clips as well. So, this first video clip is about a brother who um, he went to this church. And he ended up getting deliverance from these, uh, these Orisha demons. Okay? So, I want you guys to just take a look at it. Here you go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You devils. Enough is enough. Put your hands together for Jesus. Yay! Hallelujah. But you know, his faith is like a child. You know, we laugh because we're a little more mature in Christ, but he's sincere. And he's, 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 he's just a child. He's, he means it. You know? And Jesus said, they let the children come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Hey! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. 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 Mighty name. Hallelujah. You devils, enough is enough. I claim his soul for Jesus. Fire! Hey! Come on, somebody! Hallelujah! Are you watching this? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. He's bound about six or seven different ways one chain equals one bondage two three four five six seven eight nine when I laid hands on him the Holy Ghost said he's look into his look look into his his chest Satan has him inside when I lay hands I felt this Huh? Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hey. We want freedom. We want freedom. We want freedom. Hey. We want freedom. 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 Okay.
Okay, so you see how the Holy Spirit just really, because you see, you saw, uh, he had on the necklaces, the elekes, like I told y'all, and you heard the pastor say that each necklace represented a demon. It represented a bondage. It, so you guys, when you see people with these beads, get prayed up. Start, I will immediately go into war. I will start praying, making sure that the blood of Jesus, Yahusha, is all around me because these people are literally walking around with demons. They are literally walking around with demons. So, yeah, that that, that was amazing, guys. That was, that was absolutely amazing. And this last clip I'm going to show you, it's a guy who he, th praise God, praise y'all, he was actually, he has a, a most powerful testimony. Um, I'll make sure that I find his whole testimony and put it down here in the description box. His name is John Ramirez. He used to be a very top-ranking warlock in a uh, top-ranking devil-worshipping warlock um, in New York. And his testimony is amazing. But he ended up, he ended up, uh, you know, getting delivered. He ended up having an encounter with Christ. And um, he, he, now he's a powerhouse for, you know, the kingdom of God. So in this little video clip, he talks about, um, in this video clip, he talk, he goes into a botanica. The, remember the store I was telling you about? Because I used to work at one of these stores. He goes into the botanica and he talks about the, the different statues and such. And he also points out the Orisha pointing out how they are different principalities and such. And also he shows his Alekes that supposedly he said it fell from the sky when he was like seven or eight years old. The necklace just fell from the sky. And that's how he got, you know, um, um, into witchcraft and, 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 and all those. It's, it's crazy. It's going to sound crazy, but keep an open mind. But anyways, here's this clip. And then look what they got. The Virgin Mary and, and the Trojan God. Those are the idols. This is supposed to be Michael, the guardian angel. What is this? It's not even Michael. You know that. Right? I know. Santeria. All the witchcraft. I went out of schoolyard, hanging out, playing with a friend of mine, and uh, I heard I heard something <laughs> fell and hit the ground. And it was a voodoo necklace. So I took the voodoo necklace, it had many colors, I took it, I put it on, and the necklace was my first contract with the devil. Look at this. The truth. <laughs> Ain't that funny? The truth will set you free. So guys, I mean, yeah, I've been thinking about making this video for a while. Um, it's just that I haven't taken the time, you know, sit down and take my notes. But guys, this stuff is real. This stuff is real. Um, people are out here. People are out here, you know, first, first of all, the Bible says that in, in Revelations, it said, it, I, don't quote me if it's in Revelations or not, but I think it's in Revelation. It talks about how Satan deceived the entire world. And also it says in the last days that people will give over to doctrines of demons and seducing spirits and such. And these are one of those many things. The devil is everywhere, bro. The devil, if if, if Jesus not in it, I'm, guarantee, I, I'm guaranteeing you that it's most likely the devil. Because the devil, he's a trickster. He, he's he will, he's a deceiver. Deception means that people gave into the lie. Deception means that people gave into the lie. People got tricked. And it says that the, the devil deceived, Satan deceived the whole world. So you guys really have to be cognizant. You have to be aware of what you're doing. You have to read your Bibles because when God tells us to stay away from this stuff, he's telling us because he loves us. He's telling us because he wants to protect us. He's telling us because he wants, he, he wants us to know what area not to go into. It's just like when your mama say, okay, don't go past that street light while you're on your bike. She didn't tell you not to go past the street light um, because she didn't want you to have fun. She told you not to go past that street light because after that street light, she couldn't have a certain view of you. You have gone too far. You have gone out of reach. 
Now, not saying that God can't reach in the pits of hell and get somebody because he is all powerful. Yes, he can. But there are certain boundaries for believers. There are certain things that we cannot do. There are certain places we cannot go. There are certain things we cannot take part in because we are we are we are gods. We are Christ Jesus. We we are given we are being bought with the price. We have been bought with the blood of Jesus. Yahusha Hamasiah. We have been bought. We are not our own. So when we go, the devil just waiting, especially a believer. The devil just waiting for us to touch his stuff. The devil just itching for us to touch his stuff because he is the accuser of the brethren. Soon as we touch his stuff, he's going to try to wreck us. He's going to try to take us out because we have to understand that once we give these things permission, we're going to have you're going to have to go through deliverance. You're going to have to repent. You're going to have to renounce. And for the people that are caught up in these things, I want to let you know that there is no sin, no sin except for the blaspheming of the Holy Spirit. There is no sin that is not covered by the blood of Yahusha Hamasiah, Jesus the Christ. So if you are a part, if you are in these things, if you are a part of this wicked system, if you have been deceived, I suggest you do this thing. You go get everything that is associated with this demonic mess. You go get every single thing, every tool, every card, every bead, every candle, every sage, every um, palisanto, everything that is associated with it. And you go throw it in the dumpster and you renounce it in the mighty name of Yahusha Masiah, Jesus Christ. You go throw this stuff away and you confess before God and tell God that it happened. God, I'm sorry I made a mistake. And you ask God to deliver you. And you go, you, you look, and if you're not baptized, go get baptized at a church. Go confess in front of a congregation that G you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior because he is the only thing that can protect us from the wicked one. Like seriously, God is not mad at you. God is, God is, a, God is sad. That you felt like you had to go outside of him in order to get what you wanted. You know, and one thing that one of the one thing that the dude told me while I was working at the EFI store, he was like, Yeah, we we use it because it works, because it's quick, because you see the effect of it. They say because they say because you it, it almost starts to work immediately. Guess what? The devil wants to bless you too when you win his stuff. He wants to bless you when you're doing his will. So you have to understand, guys, just because something works doesn't mean that it's good. Mm -mm. Fast money ain't good money all the time. <laughs> the easier as it come, the easier as it go. And that's how the enemy is because the enemy is never going to want to let you go. You have to see that God, God will be sad if you want to turn away from him, knowingly or unknowingly. If you turn away from God, it'll pain him. However... He's not, he, he's such a loving God. He's, he wants you to choose him. He's not going to hold you. He's not going to, he's not going to hold you hostage. He's not going to put a ball and chain on you because he wants you to choose him out of love and not out of religion, not out of obligation. God wants people to choose him. The Bible says that it is not in God's will for that any man perish, but every man be saved, but he's not going to force you. But the devil the devil not gonna the devil not gonna let you go without a fight, because once you start this stuff, yeah, you might start getting the stuff, but you gotta keep it up. You gotta keep doing it, and then it, it's like snowballing. You gotta it's gonna get bigger. You have to do more and more and more and more and more and more each time to just get the same effect. And the devil the devil ain't gonna want to let you go. The devil rather kill you than let you go. He's that he's that crazy boyfriend. If I can't have you, can't nobody have you. But I'm telling you that Jesus can save you. Yahusha Hamasiach, Jesus the Christ, he can save you. He can deliver you. The devil can't touch God's stuff. The devil can't touch what's under the blood. The devil can't touch what's under the blood. Because after Jesus went to the cross and said that it's finished, he put every single principality and, and power and spiritual wickedness and rule of darkness, he put them to an open shame. He put them to an open shame. He put them to an open shame. Meaning that the devil ain't got no power. The devil wants to confuse you and make you think that he got some type of power. He got power when you go touching his stuff. When you go up in his arena, that's where he got power. That's where he got power. 
when you when you get from under the under the grace, when you get out of the boundary of grace, when you go from under the, the protection of the blood, when you go in his ballpark. So, guys, this is serious. Like, but uh, if you are in this stuff, repent, 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 repent. I'm telling you guys, oh my God, so I don't want to cry, but repent. Repent of these things, God, because God can God can do exceedingly and abundantly above all things that you can ask him. I would I would even rather you come to him. He said, he said, the, 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 the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want, meaning I shall not lack. I won't for nothing. If you follow God, if you if he is your shepherd, that means that you follow him. So if you follow him, that means that if you are following God, you will not want for nothing. He will provide for his own. He will make, if he can go out there, if he can feed the birds, if he can clothe the lilies of the valley, he, he will definitely look out for you. If he, if, he, if he got his eye on a sparrow, how much more are you important to him than these sparrows? If he can take care of these things, he can take care of you. So don't be tricked by the devil. Don't give in to the schemes of the devil. Get under the blood of Jesus. Get under the blood of Jesus. The devil going to make you think that you can't go nowhere. The devil going to make you think that you are boxed in and that you are trapped. But that is a lie. The devil is a liar. He is a deceiver. But God saves. God, his mercy. Oh, my God. He is good. And his mercy endures forever. So, y'all, come back to God. Come back to your first love. Come back to your father. Come back to the one that wants to see you prosper. He says, for I know the plans that I have for you. I have plans not to harm you, but to see you prosper. So, guys, you got to come back to God. Come back to God. Get out of the devil's stuff. I can't plead with y'all enough. Oh, my, no, 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 my, say, y'all show. I can't plead with y'all enough. Come back to the, come back to grace. Come back to grace. Now, I'm telling y'all, God, it will be the best decision in your life. The warfare will come. The enemy will try to give you scare tactics. But if you are consistent, if you are obedient to God, if you turn away, if you repent and you turn away, God says, if you confess your sins, he is faithful to wipe, to forgive you and to wash you clean of all unrighteousness. So come back unto God, y'all. I, I apologize, but the spirit is it's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. I'm burning the spirit. I want to cry. What am I? No, 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 my shy. I got same. No, 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 shy. I want to because I know it's people that's watching this video that's been deceived. I know it's people that's gonna hear these words that don't that 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 that, 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 that are wrapped up in the devil stuff. And God wants you to come home. He wants you to come home. He's holding his arms. I'm no, no, my shy. He's holding his arms out. God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. He's holding his arms out. He's saying, come home. Like the prodigal son who went out there and wasted his inheritance. He went out there and took what God gave him. He went out there and took what his father gave him. And he went out to the world and he wasted and he squandered it. But yet he came back with nothing. He came back home, though, and the father was held with open arms. And hugged his neck and kissed his neck and said, let's prepare a feast. My son is home. Let's celebrate. My baby is home and God is waiting for you to come home. He is not angry with you. Oh, because heaven rejoices. When a soul repents, heaven rejoices. Every angel in the heavens rejoice because that is how important you are to God. He wants you to come home. He wants you to come home back to him. You don't need nothing else outside of him. Everything that you need is in him. Blessed are those that trust in God. Blessed are those that trust in God. Those that walk away from unrighteousness and wickedness are like trees planted by living waters. Trees that are planted by rivers of waters that will nourish them. Even when, even when, even when the dark times come, even when the storms come, even when the famine comes, even when the pestilence and disease comes, we will be covered by the goodness of the Lord. We will be covered by God. So go back to God. Come back to the Father. Come back to your first love. It's somebody that is hearing this right now.
And it is you are being convicted. I'm not, 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 you are being convicted. I say, lift up your hands. Lift up your hands if you have turned from God, if you if you have not been in God's will, if you have been in the world, if you have been practicing sin, if you have been messing with the devil, stuff, just lift up your hands and say, God, Jesus, I am a sinner and I, I, I am so sorry, but God, I believe that you gave me a way of escape by the work of the cross. I believe that your son Jesus, what I, I believe that your son Jesus came down, came down from the heavens above, was God in the flesh, and he died for my sins, and he rose again on the third day. And God, I will trust in you. I will put my faith in you. I will follow after you. I will obey you. And God, I ask that you save me. For you say that those that call upon the name of Jesus, that they will be saved. And on this day, with your belief, if you believe it with your heart, you have confessed it with your mouth, and you believe it with your heart, you are saved. Rejoice. Rejoice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, guys. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, I thank you, Father. I thank you for the people that listened, oh God. I thank you for the people that were obedient, oh God. I thank you for, for drawing the people unto you, oh God. The devil has the world blinded and deceived, oh God. And God, I, I ask that you open the eyes of the blind, oh God. You remove the scales from their eyes, oh God. For the ones that are on a high horse, do them like you did Saul before he got changed to Paul. Knock them off their high horse to Damascus, oh God. Oh, hallelujah, God. Let them have an encounter with you, oh, the true and the living God. Oh, the true God. Oh, Yahuwah, oh, Father, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God of Israel, oh God. Let them have a true encounter with you, oh God. Impress on their hearts. Give them a heart of flesh, oh God. Soften their heart and hearts, oh God. Draw the people unto you, O God. For you said, if your name be lifted up, you will draw all men unto you, O God. And I ask that you draw them, O God. You draw them, O God, and let them seek relationship and not, and not religion, O God. Let them seek the spirit, O God, which is you instead of spirituality. Let them seek you, O God. In the mighty name of your son, Yahushua, Messiah, Jesus, the Christ, God. I pray, Father. I thank you, Father. I thank you for the ones that listened. I thank you for the ones that stuck through in this video. I thank you for every soul, O oh God. In the mighty name of your son, Yahushua, Messiah, Jesus, the Christ, God. That I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, guys. Amen, guys. And guys, one last thing before you go. I know this is a long video. I know it's a long video. I know, I know, I know it is. But I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let the Holy Ghost have his way. Guys, if you are coming out of this, and when you repent and 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 you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior, and when you get baptized, while you're going through that process, I want you guys to get this book. It's called Prayers That Route Demons. Prayers for Defeating Demons and Overthrowing the Powers of Darkness. It is by John Eckhart. And guys, I'm telling you, this book is full of prayers for warfare, for spiritual warfare. Because I'm telling you, the devil is going to come at you. The devil is going to come at you with all he got to try to make you feel defeated. To try to pull you back into, into, into serving him and his kingdom. Because, because it seems like that's the easy thing to do. But the devil is a liar. And he shall stay a liar. And he'll be a liar until the day that he is thrown into the lake of fire. But guys, God bless you. I love you guys. I love you guys. Guys, you give me... Guys, I love you guys. I love you guys so much. Guys, give me a thumbs up in this video if you liked it. Go ahead and throw down in those comments. I want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear your experiences. If you are familiar with what I discussed on today, put in the comments your experiences, oh, guys. And guys, also share this video with somebody because...
people are really being deceived. They think this is an African spirituality thing, but it is a system of the devil. It is a tool of the kingdom of darkness, oh guys. And God is calling us out of these things. He is calling us out of the darkness and into his marvelous light, oh guys. And guys, always remember, let God get the glory in your story. Be blessed.